What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fun with Dumb. I got a lot of the homies in the house right now, starting with Andrea Jin to my left over here. Hi. <laughs> Coming from Temple I am City. Here. Yes. Um, a region I'm not familiar with. It's a lot of uh, industrial mm -hmm. Chinese yeah. temples, might I? No. I, I don't temples. know. I didn't. I spent. Like, <laughs> I spent like 10 minutes there, so... Okay, yeah, you know 30 again. minutes late. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point that out. Fuck. Uh, and we got a first-timer on the show, Andrew Arolfo right here. Hey, good. How are you doing, man? I'm wonderful, thank Thanks you. for coming on the show, bro. Of course, thanks Last for minute, you know, all, everybody. Everybody's <laughs> last minute. Yeah. I hit everybody up around lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> the booking process is real loose. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. I've been, I've been busy, and I... The, the, I don't know what's going on with the booking department over here. <laughs> we can't say shit because we're all free, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we, ain't, yeah. we ain't shit either, man. We're like, free. And I, I actually text these two when I have to cancel a show. Yeah. Uh, like on a spot. That's happening. Then, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When I have to cancel on a spot and then you guys m most likely more available than I would say other people. <laughs> <laughs> she did mention that Damn. she did say you guys are the go-to in the best way oh, yeah. <laughs> team b mm -hmm. uh, no, in the way that's like oh you guys are very down to do spots slash not booked thank yeah. you so much <laughs> <laughs> no. fumi abe of course hello another <laughs> regular on the show thank here. you for having me back so good to be I, here i i take availability as like hunger too you know what i'm saying yeah. like because i'm busy mm -hmm. too but i say yes to everything <laughs> me too that's true that's true but you also like i try to make time for this because like i always have a good time and i like yeah. and like yeah. you know it's, it's like it's loose it's loose it's also weirdly i feel in la everybody's busy so it's nice to see each other whether it's a podcast or not that's true yeah yeah, yeah. yeah this is a busy intersection and it, i I know it's a headache with parking and all that shit, but so I do appreciate y'all coming, man. Yeah, man, of course. There's a lot dude. of flakers in this town, and you guys are in it. <laughs> yeah. um, are, you, are you guys getting any AAPI bags this month, you know? Dude, I'm actually not for the Me first either. time. Me too. Dude, what what the yeah. fuck used to? Wait, yeah. you're not either? I'm not getting Me no too. Yeah. Wait, you, Mr. <laughs> Korean Town? Yeah, you're that's not? true. It, no, yeah. because it is, it's crazy. If you, I mean, I've been getting AAPI bags since... That shit was invented. Yeah. Yes, a 1992. Yeah. Yeah. I just learned. 1992 is when it was invented. Yeah. Okay, maybe oh, not yeah. that we long. Learned, <laughs> we learned. Yeah, we learned on the thing. Wait, 92 is when they I just started it. it? Oh. Yeah. yeah. So, so right George after H. the riots, Bush. they were like, "We got to give these fools <laughs> yeah, a month." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the stores got burnt down. Let's give them the month. <laughs> <laughs> um that's so funny. that's when it started it, it, but it was like not lit until like five years ago or something i didn't even know what it was yeah. when i was in high school i found out what me it was either. in college maybe yeah like in two like late i don't 2000s. think i had it in canada yeah dude because yeah, it's, it's asian american, asian -American yeah. Yeah, yeah oh that's mm -hmm. true get out of here don't take our money dude but we <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. These, these immigrants coming into town, <laughs> taking our jobs you and know, our month. <laughs> you're absolutely right, because May is usually when I get asked to like, speak at something. Yeah. Speak at something yeah. for like $1,000. It's yeah. easy money. I usually get at least one. Mm -hmm. It's... Stiff and I did it last year. Nothing, nothing this year. It was like, it's like Lunar New Year. There's always like a little bag or something mm -hmm. where yeah, you're mm -hmm. performing with like a lion dance company. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> dude, that's crazy that I've done that. <laughs> the lion dance company. Yeah. We've all done it. We, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on this month. I did, yeah. I do feel like they really squeezed the shit out of that m this month, like for the last couple of years. It's yeah. been a lot. So you, you think know? they over squeezed and now there's no money? Or they, something? they, yeah, they did too much. Yeah, um, I think they overcompensated for when it was like stop Asian hate. Probably yeah, that's <laughs> absolutely true. right. Yeah. yeah. Yes, they didn't and now distribute the resources correctly. Yeah. And now it's like oh, we don't have now we're in debt yeah. to the yeah. whites. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I've been like asked to do stuff for free this month. You know, <gasps> How yeah. like dare some them. free stuff. So there hasn't been a recent like Asian that got beat up. So it's like oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in. Encouraging it, it you know like what I'm saying? I'm, I'm happy. That's a better situation than us getting back. Where of the course. hate comes at, though. No, 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 no. But um, I, I will say it slowed down. I think a lot. There's been so many Asian projects in TV and film. Yeah. That's even kind of slowed down a little yeah. bit. And we yeah. could keep it up. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like well, I think like TV's been tough because the strike, so they're not making a lot of that's things. right. But mm. you know what? I was just having this thought recently. I was just like watching TV. A lot of new stuff is coming out. You know, baby reindeer, yes. tires, all this stuff. And I'm just having this thought. I'm like, 
are white guys back? Oh, white guys are back. <laughs> oh, yeah, white guys they're are They're back, back. Right? Dudes are, and, yeah. back. And they're back, like, stronger than before. Stronger they than are. before. Yeah, yeah, it's like It's like, uh, you know, that new um, strain of chlamydia that's, like, yes. bacterial, but yeah, you yeah, cannot yeah, be yeah. beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More, way yeah. more aggressive. Now. Way more yeah, aggressive, yeah. leaning Crazy. really into the whiteness. And yeah, I will yeah. say, but though, you know, the white guys that are back are, like, the underdog white dudes. What do you mean by that? Like, you know, baby reindeer, traumatized, white guy, sexual assaulted. You yes, know what I yes. mean? Oh, yeah. Shane Gillis was like an underdog who yeah. got canceled, didn't get hired on SNL. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You know, like, the, the struggle white dudes are coming. The struggle, yeah, I see. I see yeah. the, struggle white guys. Yeah, struggle yeah. white dudes. Like, I hand it to a struggling white guy. You and know a struggling what I mean? white guy, they, they will not back down at, like, a regular barrier that they may have, you know, because yeah. they, they've struggled so they're strong and they can sort of maneuver. They know what POC go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like that's canceled. Yeah, back in the day, POC had to go to go through to is never give up, right? Yeah, Mm -hmm. and then now they're going through it. They're never giving up, but but it's it's strong on all levels because you have those guys, but you also have the nepo babies that are thriving as well. I've been seeing a lot of nepo. Me too. Oh know? yeah, yeah, and the nepos mm-hmm. are always white. That's the thing. Yeah, but, but they've been they've been hiding the nepo part because I didn't even know this dude is this part person's oh. son or daughter. Like you don't know until like is it like way a new later. thing that you found out recently? Yeah, like, who? Uh, like just random joints. Like I didn't even know. You know, like I, mean, I didn't know yeah. Bryce Howard is like Ron Howard's daughter. Oh, I, know. <laughs> I, know I knew that. that. I knew okay, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm late, yeah. but it's like you don't want to flex those things. None of them want to flex that you're a nepo baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. I I wouldn't yeah. if I was like Jackie Chan's son or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Chan must yeah. have a son, right? He does. He, what's he, does? he up to? Where that, he? that was an infamous thing because Jackie Chan Absolutely. went on a talk show and said he's not gonna leave his like. Um, money to his son like when he dies okay that's why he's not famous man (laughs) cause I feel like cause I I feel like Asian parents do that shit yeah Yeah. I think I can't wait until in the future someone's gonna be like oh you know why he got that cause that's Bowen Yang's son or something you know (laughs) that's good I can't wait for that I can't wait for that you know yeah yeah nah I mean I I don't know like I've never had the thought like I'm doing this for my kids. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I, cause I want them to struggle. I want them to kind right. of earn it, you right. know, because I did. Yes. Mm. Yes. And you see, and we saw so much of like Sweet 16 on MTV growing up mm-hmm. and saw all the spoiled kids. It was like, these kids are assholes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. That's how I got but put But maybe on. this world could use a couple asshole Asian kids, you know? I we know. we do yeah. like Bling Empire and all oh, these yeah, shows, yeah, yeah that kind like of shit. There's crazy a lot of rich, yeah, Asian people. <laughs> <laughs> They're They're like, crazy. That's where that title comes from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. So, so nepotism, though, do you do you care if it's like a job that's not cool? Um, well, like a, do you know like what I mean? A, does it does it count if the job kind of sucks? Like somebody owns a car yeah. wash place, yeah, like, chain, and then, like a chain of car washes, yeah, yeah. and then their son starts working there. Does no, that bother you? I don't care. Okay. No, yeah. I don't, do I don't care do? about nepotism at all. No, I, I, I actually encourage it for communities of color because I think we have this weird, <laughs> we have this weird thing where it's like, no, you got to struggle because that's how you get to it. You what know, about what people don't think like that? What about right. white comedians or white in general? <laughs> white nepo. <laughs> white white nepo. Yeah, white. Nepo. They could. They could. You know press the brakes a little bit i I think what what you're mentioning is that you know in entertainment they get more shit because it's like it doesn't it comes with less burden like if you Mm -hmm. inherit a chain of car washes like that's work that's That's a lot of work to maintain you know what i mean it's it's not gonna be easy like you gotta actually manage these spots still (laughs) yeah that's a good point because i know the ceo of uniqlo his dad made it his dad made it to where it wasn't gave it to his son and apparently yeah. he's like a shitty boss or whatever but now mm-hmm. he has to like you know lead this fortune 500 company that's yeah. a lot of work but oh, if you're just sure. like an actor mm. you're right like you don't know yeah. you're not managing anybody so there's no consequences yeah, you're just like yeah getting jobs and getting paid <laughs> mm. yeah that's nice yeah. you know i gotta i gotta say that you know with aa going back to aapi month do you feel this for andrew do you feel like the filipinos get fair you know <laughs> real estate in that month you know um <laughs> You want me to be honest? About it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, I feel, uh, I kind of feel left out sometimes. You do sometimes. I, I, that's but fair. Not all the time. Because I see it. I feel yeah. like you know we're the Filipinos get the tail end of even the name. Yeah. It's like Asian American Filipino heritage. Yeah. <laughs> they they say that? No, what PI Wait, is? Oh, PI. You're not Pacific Islander. Pacific Islander. Island Pacific Island. Island. Yeah. You don't even know. <laughs> he, he thought he, 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 he didn't even include us in the act. He didn't even include us in the Asian part. Some people spell Filipino with a P. You know? 
funny you thought that. <laughs> you need to write. I forgot for a second. You got to Venmo back all the uh, <laughs> organizations you work for with I'm API. Sorry, Filipino Islander. A Filipino Islander? No, no, no. Pacific Islander, <laughs> which yeah. is included there. Yeah. For sure. That's yeah. funny. I but, love that. But you're right. I do feel like mm. just a lot of Southeast Asians get left out in that w- yeah. world. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Even like India gets oh yeah oh, yeah well for sure. i never More. know if they like yeah. feel weird about that because i feel like they're always doing their own thing yeah they, so yeah. i've never met an indian guy who's like man why can't we be part of api yeah, yeah they are but I, they never seem to want to but i don't think they care but then they do get included because of the whole like asia thing yeah but then i think like pacific islander and <laughs> yeah we don't, <laughs> like I, don't, I don't see i don't see no yeah. samoans on any lineup you know what i mean right <laughs> <laughs> i don't see no tongans on it yeah, yeah yeah right they're at the door being a bouncer for the <laughs> event <laughs> For the API event, they're there, you know. Shout Working out to the Samoans. Yeah. But I feel you. I, I feel uh-huh. like we should include more people. I never yeah. care when they're like, oh, um, with the like when they try to include the Indians, like that become like like an awkward conversation because sometimes they're like yeah. not sure or like yeah. each side isn't sure. I'm like, yeah, sure. You want to be a part of it? I don't give a fuck. Oh, I'm yeah, not gatekeeping yeah, yeah. this month, you know. No, for sure. But I feel like they're more included than like certain pacific islander like southeast asian you think indians are more more included than like oh, certain see, groups of southeast asian maybe i don't know mm-hmm, i'll mm-hmm. let all types I don't of have the eth- stats. ethnically ambiguous people into this month you know like yes. pete davidson can get in yeah. somehow like. <laughs> we should include all everyone into aapi month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you're right. i've never been to like an aapi comedy show and the like, lineup is like a cambodian guy and a lao yeah. guy yeah it's exactly never, it's never like, that in the yeah. in the bay there was there oh was, really there was a uh, Cambodian guy. That's why I do love the Bay. The Bay yeah. is, I think, the most united, a- and so many cultures. You know, they they come together over there. Mm. Yeah, a- I agree. I agree heavily yeah. with that. I've also like been unbooked from an API what? event or show because they needed they I, they wouldn't say it but they wanted one person from each thing right yeah. oh. so it was like a Korean person a Chinese person <laughs> and then they asked me to do it it was like a lot of money and then I looked and they already ha- they had like a half Japanese girl there huh. and so I think they thought like oh we don't need him so they got like another <laughs> Asian guy yeah. on a different that's what I did with hmm. this lineup today actually. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> pretty good you got Japanese, yeah, Japanese. Filipino you know Chinese Korean. This yeah. is truly. <laughs> See what's up with that? You can't. You feel weird doubling up. It's, you know? I did feel <laughs> weird. I was like Andrew Lopez. I, I almost texted him. I was like, Nah, we got we got that covered. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got. He's half Korean, half Filipino. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, but Korean, that's a different yeah. vibe. That would have been know? a f- yeah. little fusion of both of us. Yeah. You know? yeah. If yeah. I get if I get a half Filipino, half Korean dude, I'm gonna have to get a half Japanese, half Chinese dude. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's gonna, <laughs> that's really hard to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I felt like this was a good, equal, balanced Asian student association vibe yeah yeah, yeah. for sure for sure yeah. for sure you know and uh i'm glad man I, I feel like we i need more filipino representation on the show so got you on board man, Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. i think filipinos like uh do their own thing though because i remember uh in la when asian af was like a pretty poppin comedy show mm-hmm. back in the day asian af it was yeah. called i don't know what it's doing now but like at it's the still, time it's it was kind of poppin it was like uh, all american all asian american comedy show and then i saw flies for filipino af <laughs> I was yep, like, why did you separate this? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Well, I, right. Did you separate I, yourselves? Or? No, I think that just a lot of the the comedians and like improvisers were Filipino. So enough of them were in the group to do their own. Their own thing. Yeah, because in California, there's so many Filipinos. Yeah. Right. You know? And I feel like there's a lot of Filipino pride, no? Like yeah. just being Filipino. Yeah. If I were, so I mean, much. I get it. If I were you guys, so I would have split up too, bro. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just because a, the, the Asian. But we want to be included, though. No, no, no. You, know? you guys <laughs> should be included. Yeah. I agree with yeah. you. But yeah. I feel like the general AAPI world's like, yeah. they're not doing enough work to include y'all, you know? Yeah. So yeah. fuck that. Y'all, y'all have so much impact on the culture that yeah. you guys deserve to, to have That's more true. representation. Like Koreans do their own thing too. But Koreans not, do do that. But I don't ever see like a Chinese. Chinese or like a Japanese thing that's only for Chinese and Japanese people. They're doing their thing. It's just not as lit. It's just not. That's, that's true. That's the yeah. thing. Yeah, that's you know? the thing. They maybe. got the cultural events. But yeah. I think we don't have enough confidence in ourselves. Maybe. Because like, I feel like Chinese people, I don't know about Japanese people, but like Chinese people like something 
they won't like something just because it's Chinese. They'll like something if white people like it and it's Chinese. Uh -huh. Ooh, you know? Wow, interesting. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like, yeah, they yeah, eat yeah, white yeah. backers. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 And investors. then they'll be like, oh, oh, okay, yeah, we'll go see that. You know? Yes. Yeah. They need more, that's how I feel about they it. They need, like, every cultural event I feel like needs to be more fusion for people to want to go. That's why even Korean events, there's like K-pop and all these other things that have crossed over. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they're, all, all it is, it's, it's fusion, like fusion food. You know yes, what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. And, and that's when it becomes like, okay, like... Well, because people feel, feel more welcome. And Yeah, it's uh, not yeah. enough to just see a fan dance. Like they need to, dan <laughs> like they need to do fan dance to EDM. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, okay, this is dance. lit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like even Lion Dance. Like Lion Dance is cool. Yeah. yeah, we see it every year. Yeah, yeah. but you gotta like throw a jab walking under there or something. Yeah. You, know, like, <laughs> you need to <laughs> spice it up. Oh shit, the dragon's gliding. This yeah. is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Face is already covered. You know, so you <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the collaboration right there. <laughs> oh, right here, I mean. Uh, oh <laughs> yeah. So funny. Uh -huh. can, can I say something about the Japanese real quick? Please <laughs> go ahead. Only, I didn't, on, say only if camera. it's only go off. Only if it's bad. Yeah, say it. Yeah, go only off, if it's dude. Bad. No, I want to commend y'all because I do feel like the Japanese are coming back up right now. Are they? Yes, I Where? do think. Really? <laughs> I'm wondering the same thing. No, I mean I really what? do think so because okay, Shogun. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's like one of the po most popular shows. On really? TV right now. I, yes. I have that. an interesting That's true. thing People about that. People love Shogun. I need to watch and that. and even that. in music, I do think you guys are having some of the most interesting and exciting acts coming like who? out. Like that schoolgirl act. A Atarashigako. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Atarashigako. Uh, Yo Sabi or Sobi from ADA Rising. Bo both of them do stuff for ADA Rising. But when oh, I is that the chick that does Demon Slayer? Demon Slayer theme song. Y O A. Oh yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. Oh, I didn't know she was the 88 so Rising. So I'll go on like I'll go to the 88 Rising Head in the Clouds Festival and I'll see their like international lineup. It's mm -hmm. like Asian Student Association on crack. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I was there. I, I was there at yeah. Coachella. I saw that. Yeah. And I'll see some of the acts, and the ones that excited me were actually from Japan. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Oh, so. I just gotta say, I feel something is brewing. <laughs> May, I hope. I hope so. I how do like... we stop it? <laughs> <laughs> this is how they got us last time. Yeah. This is how they got us last time. <laughs> <laughs> this is how they got us last time. But this time, yeah, <laughs> like this is your smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're distracting you. This, this is a distraction. Yeah. Something's happening. Can't here. let them get too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I feel like. Uh, the, the, the Japanese art in general always like whether it's popping or not I do respect them and the, I don't know if it's a respect thing but I always find it interesting that they never really try to like because I feel like with K-pop um, I don't know if I'm correct but I think there was maybe uh, some desire to not necessarily assimilate but to go global as in like let's get some European consumers so we can make a lot of fucking money mm. kind of thing and like mm -hmm. I think if you watch their dances and stuff like it is unique in that they like Korean Koreanified everything mm -hmm. but like you know the beats are made by like Swedish people and shit you know what I mean like there is like more of a crossover <laughs> where like if I didn't hear the lyrics I'm like oh this could be maybe like a Rihanna song or something like it's more easy to digest mm -hmm. but i think a lot of japanese music and stuff like you know those girls coming out in that school uniform like it's a lot like mm -hmm. i could see how a lot of people would be like this is i don't know what the fuck this is <laughs> I, that's why i love it it's it's i don't know to me it is more unique than what's coming out of korea right now mm, you know and they had their own thing going on for a long time but to me like right now like the identity is like clearly like very japanese mm -hmm. mm. yeah. yeah you know yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I like Koreans, it's it's weird. Like Korean Americans love to rep Korea so hard. Like there's Korean flags on clothes all the time and shit. Like you wear that shit in Korea, it's like corny. Sure. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I don't know. I, Is it that way about Filipino flag? Because I see a lot of Filipino flag here. Like in, in, in honestly, growing up in Vancouver, in, I saw a lot of like Filipino people wearing Filipino flag. Yeah, there's like a lot. Stuff. Yeah, I feel like here in the States and Canada, probably. But I don't think they do that in the Philippines. No, if all. you were no, a, no, a Japanese flag, people assume you're like right wing. <laughs> like, yeah. No, I'm not even joking. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, not, yeah, it's right. not okay to like yeah. wear a flag like really? that. Really? In right. Japan? Yeah, because like it's too like nationalistic. It's right, like, what are you, right. like, you're like right. trying to take over China right now. I, mean, it's, like, I will crazy. say out of these four cultural backgrounds, like Filipinos and Koreans probably wear their flags the most. Yeah. 
I don't, more than Chinese oh, yeah. or, or you know. <laughs> go to a graduation in the Bay Area is just right <laughs> here. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> it's just Damn, like, I mean, that's a deep cut. I like I didn't, that. I used to not know that that was the Filipino flag, and I used to just think like, oh, that's cool. Like, like I brand? want one yeah. of those jackets. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then just re- not realizing that's a Filipino flag. <laughs> and I, I, I wearing... thought that always thought that was the Bay Area flag. I, I, <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even realize so that the Filipino. Yeah, I thought it was something about it that just feels so Bay. That's so funny. Right. Yeah. Have you ever been to the Philippines? Yeah. Uh, 2020. What was your vibe? You, it was great. Well, I went with uh, Joe Coy for... Oh, oh right. Well, the Netflix the thing. The Netflix thing. That's yeah. yeah. What's that the, how's Joy, Joe treated over there? Like a fucking king. Really? <laughs> Straight up. Like, it's it's crazy. Because when we were there, we were shooting the special uh, in his elements. But then also, he was getting his, like, uh, the equivalent of the Hollywood star there. Over mm. there? Yeah. What what is the equivalent? I don't know. It's just it's like the Filipino same same kind flag. of thing. It's just, it's just like a little like a, on the sidewalk or something, just yeah. like a star. Yeah. And yeah, he's treated like a like a rock star out there. Damn, that's crazy. That's wow. crazy. Is he the who? Is he like the most famous? Like maybe Manny Pacquiao, him? Um. Yeah. Maybe. Who else is really famous from there? Um, Black Eyed Peas. Oh, I th- he's just that one dude though. Yeah. He, oh. But he does get love out there for sure. Oh, really? Oh, that's yeah. nice. Uh, is it like that in Korea where like, like, do you get love in Korea or is it, do you not? Because like, if you make it as a Korean American, like, like a Chloe Kim, for example, she's American, right? Yeah, Korean. She's American. Korean, but she's American. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do, does she get recognized in the homeland or is it like a different entity? Oh yeah, because when she does like Winter Olympics, she, you know, that's very, you know, nationalistic, you know, with with like what you represent. But she represents America. She's representing America, yeah. yeah. But she represents the Korean side. And everyone wants to claim you. Once, yeah. once you get to a certain right. yeah, you know, That's yeah. true. You're doing of cool course. shit. Like people are going to claim you. Like Eileen Gu represented China. Yeah. She didn't, she's American. I know. Yeah. That was a weird political that choice. Was, that, was, <laughs> that was weird. Weird timing. Yeah. yeah, I yeah, don't, yeah. Maybe a good business move? Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, like people want to claim you. I mean, it's like that with every race, right? Like yeah. you find out someone's yeah. like a quarter Filipino or something, mm-hmm. you want to claim them. Yeah. You know, or Jap- yeah, part Japanese, yeah. you're like, nah, that's... Well, because in Japan, I don't know if... I mean, I don't know... I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, okay, that guy in Star Trek, what's his name? George Takai? Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. not sure if people in Japan, like, know who he is. Yeah, I think, I think there are certain... He's Japanese-American, Japanese so I think American. there's a separate thing, you know? Yeah, there's certain, like, Asian-American that's just exclusive to America. Yeah. What do you, what do you mean? Like... Uh, outside. Notoriety. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, I want, I'm trying to think of, like, who's, like, a Chinese-American... Is Lucy Liu Chinese? I don't even know. Is she Chinese? I don't know. She's Chinese. Okay, so like, is she popping in mainland China or no? No, I don't think right? so. Right? Because she's no. an American. She's yeah. more like an American sweetheart in a way. Yeah, and China has their own like entertainment system that's very closed off that they just have their own stars and everything. So they don't maybe need. Yeah. No, it's like that with Korea them. too. I mean, when I was first coming up, there was less <laughs> Korean stars and I did get noticed like way more. Mm-hmm. I was like one of like you know, a handful of Korean rappers in the world, yeah. you know? So I'd mm-hmm. go there and I could feel the, the celebrity-ness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Over the past few years, like, they don't- No one goes, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they got a thousand motherfuckers that rap over there. You know what I mean? It's insane. <laughs> so I could, I, but I did like a interview with like a really popular um, show out there, or like a YouTube show, and it reintroduced me Mm. Yeah. to the community so okay. my shit's going back up that's a little so bit funny. my star yeah. meter's that's going funny. crazy <laughs> 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 my Korean star meter um, so but I, I do feel like out here too we get support from our own communities at the shows like yeah. I'm sure you get Filipinos at your shows definitely I Japanese, love it and I love that but I feel like for mainland Filipinos I don't think they you have to be so fucking famous mm. for them to like really like claim you but like a Filipino cl- joke clip might go crazy there I may, I don't know I, I I did something recently to where like there was a huge divide like I did a like a podcast where I had a Phil it was interviewing a Filipino and then the comments got so crazy of like the divide of like mainland or like Filipinos from the Philippines versus Filipino Americans right. and it was crazy different yeah that's a thing too you, yeah. you can't share your opinion about some shit because people would be like you're not a real this yeah 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 you know because there is a thing like 
Filipinos in the Philippines really dislike Filipino Americans. Really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. There's like a huge debate wow. on that all the time. Why? Is Why? It, yeah. Jealousy or something? Um, They're going hyphy all the time. <laughs> 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 all they do is go hyphy all the time. <laughs> Whoa. You know, fucking Bay Area going hyphy. <laughs> Um, that's good. Yeah, I don't, I don't no, know. I don't know why. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm sorry. I tried. I, <laughs> no, 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 no. I never really did a Filipino I, impression. I, by the way, that was my ever? first weird, attempt. You debuted it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird yeah. time to be racist. A weird time when he's no, like, I love, up, I, 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 I love that you pulled out the high fee. That made me so happy inside. <laughs> yeah. That was incredible. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm curious. What is it that they don't vibe with? I don't know. I just. Uh, I, I have no idea. Like, I don't really experience it that much, like, to be honest. Uh, but I see comments on, like, a lot of stuff for, like, because uh, I did the podcast with this person who's so, so cool. Coolest person. I don't want to name him just because. But uh, we did an interview and they were, like, they were just talking about, like, how they just, like, love being Filipino. And it's, like, then we see the comments. It's, like, you're American. Like, oh, really? It's a oh, lot. Yeah. I didn't want to include you. Yeah. And then some some people are like, oh, well, then speak the Gala. If you don't speak the Gala, then you're not really Filipino. That's like, that's crazy. Damn. Yeah. I think some people think that about like Mandarin. Do they? Does that happen with y'all? Other, like, I, other languages? Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, there, we're just a different kind of Korean or Filipino, but we mm -hmm. are still that. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'm better. You know, I'm one of those Korean Americans that like I'm better than you in Korea. You know what I mean? It's I, I guess so. I'm on the opposite end of yeah. what they're doing. Right. Yeah, you know, you're not mm -hmm. Korean unless you grew up in K Town. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a little thing though, where if like if I meet a Chinese person that doesn't speak Mandarin or Cantonese or something, I'm always a little bit like, okay, hmm. Oh, oh but you think you're better. Yeah, I think I'm better. I feel that okay. way. Where I'm just like, hmm, why? Like, why do you not? Why? <laughs> you know? Well, Lati Latino, I think that community f has that similar thing where when yeah, you don't speak yeah. Spanish, you're just completely like, yeah, what yeah, the yeah, fuck? yeah. Or sometimes they say they can speak it and then you start speaking and they're like informal as fuck. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. okay, chill, chill, chill. Right. But I appreciate the effort. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I put in the effort. People don't appreciate it at all. <laughs> yeah. Like they think they're just like it's terrible, you know. Okay, that's mean. <laughs> that's just mean. Yeah, it is. I mean, I, I think they find it offensive too, in a way. Wow. And I get it because mm. I'll be in Korea and I'll have like I'll be around people who aren't Korean, trying to make an effort by speaking Korean, and I'm like, just don't do it. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Like yeah. you're broken English, like they're broken English. They'll get it a little. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'd rather you not. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's it's fucked up because I mean they are really trying, and yeah. in some cases they're better than I am. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's all insecurities about your language skills. I think know? that's what. Yeah. It is. yeah, it's like because if you if you felt amazing about your Korean, you'd be like, you're trying. That's great. You don't yeah. care. But it's because in your head you're like you remember the times when people shit on you for your Korean. I never get offended by people shitting me shitting oh, on really? me for my Korean. I feel like that's such like a Asian American thing. I kind it? of right. always liked being shitty at the language. Oh really? Yeah. Right. It's like your unique thing. Yeah, it's like yeah. my cool like ah, cool. So I'm silly. <laughs> you know because yeah. you're uneducated. <laughs> what? I, I think it helped me get yeah. away with shit. Oh, you know, and it was kind of like a cute, charming thing. Like, ah, I'm silly. My words are all jumbled, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always thought it was cool. But I think Asian people appreciate Asian people knowing English more, like in Asia. They're like, oh, wow, your English is so good. Mm. Interesting. Like, Even if that's the main one. Even if, if it, Like in Asia. You're right. But like right. for me, it's like that's my main ang language. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, but they're yeah. like, oh, but you have, you know, Asian face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your you, face is Asian. <laughs> do you think people overseas appreciate, uh, like, say, like a white person speaking, the, tr trying to speak the native language? Maybe, oh, yeah. I, I feel like they appreciate it when oh, they're yeah. like really good. Yeah. But when they're like just saying the same thing, like, Kamsahamnida. All, you know, like oh, all yeah. the time. It's annoying. It's annoying. I mm -hmm. could see how that's annoying. It you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. making fun of that. That's what I'm well, saying. Yeah. That's how it sounds to me yeah. when I'm hearing on the side. Yeah. I yeah. think the yeah. bar used to be lower where like you just, any white face just go to Asia. Like you could have a full career if you're like just learning the language. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but now, now it's like higher. Now it's like you have to be fluent. But I think it used to be very bare minimum. 
I don't think yeah. you should be allowed to use it until you get to a certain level on Duolingo. You know, do you think, yeah. <laughs> like, but the thing you're talking about, do you ever feel like, because as an American person, you're watching this and you're like, I don't like how this feels, but do you mm -hmm. ever feel like the people from Korea, like they don't really get that undertone? So they're like, oh, look at him trying. Do you ever, because I've, I've been in that situation where they're like, they're like, oh, he's saying like, arigatou gozaimasu. He's, but yeah. to me, I'm like, I don't like the way he's saying it, but they don't maybe know, maybe they don't understand that. That's the true. Because yeah. when they use it, I like look over to the Korean person like, well, how's he gonna react? <laughs> yeah, they like it. They like it. You, know? you think so? You think they Some, like sometimes it? they don't. Okay. They don't catch on to like. Because to your point, I get annoyed or like a little. I feel like it's a little insulting if they keep saying the same. That's thing true. Maybe it's just us. It must be I, us. I don't know what it is, man. But then when they're like really good, it's like that's crazy too. When they're like super super fluent. So that's weird too. That's weird too. Way. Yeah. <laughs> weird yeah. I watch them on TV because they'll get on TV because they'll become just like celebrities if they speak. That's true. Mm -hmm. Like Korea, it's yeah. so that's fluently. They just have entire careers from. You follow just... that one white guy on YouTube? It's just so funny because there's like, so many of you them now. You literally have to do stand up walks every around. day for like seven years to go viral, but a white guy just speaks oh. out Chinese and yeah. he has a career yeah. on YouTube. Exactly, yeah. exactly. There's so many of them now, though. But um, I see it on TV. Like my grandparents are watching it or something. Yeah. And I'm like, he's speaking it better than me. Yeah. What? Yeah. Like That's I'm true. so confused. I'm I like, can't even be mad at them. Yeah. Like they put in more effort than I did, and yeah. I've had all the tools around me. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. A lot of a lot of my feed right now is white guys who either live in the Philippines or have like a Filipino wife. Yeah, and they speak fluent Tagalog, and <laughs> they're doing like content that's like uh, uh, living in the Philippines be like, and then they're like, how, or being Filipino be like, but they're a white guy, and yeah. everybody loves it. Like, yeah. It's crazy. They love Was it. there any hate too though in the comments? Like. No, I don't see any. It's all love. Yeah, it's all love. Okay. But it's a Filipino person did it, it wouldn't go viral. Yeah, I don't think no, yeah. well, no, that's, 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 that's the that's problem. Just, that's that's my problem. Them talking. You have to, <laughs> true. It has to be like it has to break the mold. Which is crazy. I should be going viral. I'm speaking good English that's right now. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We all speak yeah. English. No one gives a fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was the white the white fixation that like Asia had for so long. Yeah. Like that's what it was. Yeah. If it, I went full white face and started speaking Korean, I'll go crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a movie right there. Yeah. Oh you do white chicks. Yeah, it's like Juana Man, but like, no, it's not like that, is it? <laughs> no. <confused>. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that at all. Yeah, that that is that's that's a. It's like there's so many angles you can get into this content game. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah, I think seeing white people learn our language, eat the food, you know, even being in the country, it's like right. a seal of approval that right. a lot of people want yes. in, yeah. in Asia. Yes, but it's upsetting that, that that can be any white person's plan yeah. B in life. Yes. As if shit doesn't work out. Yeah. Oh, you can just easy. go to Japan, go eat the food and be like, oishi, and then just yeah. go fucking viral. It's like yeah. insane. I kind of fuck with it. Like sometimes that shows, this happens like kind of often where like... Uh, not Filipino audience member will yell something at in Tagalog at me. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty, like, thanks. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it feels nice to give them approval for once, you know? Nah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I think everybody gets angry about everything so easily, but, yeah. but there's some funny content creators like yeah, that. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Is there, is there a, a whole world of content creators of, like, immigrants who come here and they're like i'm in america like you know and i think those people are popping off for audiences in their mainland right are, are so like, they if like i yeah. i think so like if a japanese person came here and is like my life in los angeles but is doing it in japanese or something yeah mm -hmm. like look i went to like earth cafe or whatever right. that mm -hmm. wouldn't pop off to us but maybe, <laughs> but like maybe to a person yeah, living yeah, in japan yeah, who yeah, wants yeah. to come to america we're like we did it too but we didn't film ourselves yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i think so i think there's stuff like that you know yeah we we do it. I, I think our generation will like film our like fob parents and like make yeah. them a star. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. they can't yeah. do it themselves. So we got to like shoot them. But know? I feel like people like the authenticity. I don't know if it's the like foreignness of it. Yeah. You know, like I think what goes viral is like seeing peeking into someone's life in that way, like seeing mm -hmm. someone's mm -hmm. father or yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, I, I've thought about doing more stuff for like my mom and shit. Right. But nah, it's dude. like, 
You don't want to bring them into this content. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's disrespectful, man. <laughs> Keep them in a safe space. Yeah. It feels bad. I mean. Yeah, it feels bad. To We've exploited our parents a few times. I saw I know. Your, your Hyundai commercial. I see I know. you. Yeah. <laughs> She's it like, felt- I don't want to be it here. Felt- <laughs> <laughs> Why you put I mean- me in Korean car? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was doing better than me. Like I, I was. It was so hot in the car. And then um, she's like, "Why you no crack the window?" <laughs> <laughs> but she was just like, she was like, "Yeah, I'm fine." She just dab her lip, and that's it. And then, <laughs> and then for me, I was like, "Oh my god, it's so hot! Can we cut?" Like just like needing you, breaks. Were you just hanging out? Yeah, what with like this? lines you had to hit? Um, just hanging out. Just hanging. But okay, there so. has to be segments of hanging out yeah. where it's windows up, you know, um, no AC, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, right. Because they got to get the sound the right. Sound, oh, yeah. did, the sound. Did you cut your uh, grandma a little piece or what? Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. <laughs> that, sure. Was she not getting paid separately? Like they paid you and then you yeah, paid your grandma? It was That's a, fucking a weird. A group fee. A group, <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it was like that for me. They paid me like a chunk and I had to take care of paying Whoa. My but my mom didn't yeah. want to do all they the W9 shit. forms yeah, yeah. and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's true. Do all yeah. that. So no. you could rip them off easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, is, are, are your parents Americanized? Uh, kind of, not really. My dad kind of is just because my dad grew up in Oakland and <laughs> okay. San Francisco. But he like born in the Philippines and moved to the Bay when he was like 11 because he's got a white grandpa so he could come over here. Oh, and then so my mom, and then he went back, met my mom, brought her back. So you're full on Bay Area Filipino. Yeah, <laughs> damn, that's the most Filipino you can get. <laughs> For real, man. Yeah, yeah. Did you have a jacket with a Filipino flag? Or? Oh, the one that's hanging in my room. <laughs> it's like I do. I have like a Filipino like it's it's like a bomber jacket, but then it has like a jeepney on the back, and it's. Like I wanted one so bad. I wanted one <laughs> because there was just like this very popular Filipino girl. And she had that jacket, and I was like, "Wow, it looks so good on her." You know what's so interesting about you saying that? Did you go to like a, <laughs> a lot of Asians at your high school? A lot of Asians. Okay, at my high school, like Asians were not cool, but for some <laughs> reason, there was one Filipino guy. He like broke through. Oh, and yeah. He he fuck all the white girls, and I, and at the time, he had brown skin, but he was so popular that I never clocked that he was Asian. Okay, I was, was like, he, I guess he's something else. Was I don't he know. good at sports? He played lacrosse. Okay, yeah. And his nickname yeah. was. If you're good at sports, sports you can thing. be any race. Yeah. Any. But Filipinos can be good. any race. Like real talk. They are every race. <laughs> what? what? Filipinos? Filipinos. Mm-hmm. That's true. But the way like he would just get these like popular like I'm talking about like popular, like like imagine like the popular white girl from like a Disney movie. Yeah. Like he's getting those girls. <laughs> yeah. And don't go off in the comments. I'm not saying that's the beauty standard, but I'm just saying he got them. Sure. And it's like in a time that was like literally so impossible. Yeah. We had there were handsome Asian guys at my high school, I thought, who were like tall and Korean or whatever, but like they just didn't <laughs> They don't play sports. Maybe yeah. they did. I don't know. They, oh, I thought okay. they were handsome, but they just they like, weren't how, starting. They, how good was he? Not at that his, good. At his studies. Bad. Yeah. That, okay. Bad that, at the studies. That, that makes you kind of no cool. That, right? yeah. Yeah. If, if you play sports and you're kind of dumb, that's, wait, is bro, he, he starting, got like that. starting on the lacrosse team? But like, I maybe by the time he was a senior, but like he wasn't like the lacrosse player. Like the other white kids. Were Can better. he drink a lot? Maybe. But bro, he was like doing anal you know, with the Mormon chicks and stuff. Like it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. He was like, he's uh, definitely very good at sports and drinking. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say this. It's kind of like in our, it's it's in us. It's in our blood. Do you the know this way. about like the what? So in the 1930s, this is real. You yeah. can look this up. In the 1930s, <clears throat> in uh, like by Santa Cruz and I think Coachella here as well. But like uh, a lot of the migrant farm workers were Filipino mm. and. They created this like dance hall just to like kick it and stuff. Oh shit! And then uh, they f- fucked all the white women. <laughs> Damn! In the in the 1930s, this happened in Northern California yeah. and Southern California, where the grape farmers or whatever farmers would just fuck all the white women. Yep. <laughs> what is this? Okay, this they, is our data puller right here. They um. f- fuck all the white women to the point where the white people around them had riots and started destroying like and killing Filipinos because oh, we were fucking damn. too you're many you're fucking so good we were fucking had to die. so many white women you know <laughs> they were mad as hell it's like we're not yeah, eating look, corn anymore <laughs> look, look up Watsonville riots yeah oh wait, man so, yeah. this is all over Filipino dick that's crazy all over Filipino dick bro damn bro what, wait what was the reason because they were because we were fucking the every, white, all, the, the white women the wanted no, 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 to marry no 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 like why did that happen why were all these white women fucking 
outside of their... probably good at dancing or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> we, 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 yeah we had a dance. Like, it was the dancing, they went to the really? dance hall And they were oh, good at dancing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the power of dance. <laughs> yeah. I, yes, 100%. I mean, that's, that's not so even a joke. Funny. I think that that's like a nice thing. I've always, Women like that. I've always believed if I knew how to do the windmill, my... <laughs> my p- my pussy percentage would have gone up 8%. Like, no oh, doubt. The, the, the thing Are you the, crazy? That's kind of why I was watching America's Best Dance Crew in high school. I yeah. was like, if I could just pop and lock like Mike song. Oh, my God. Yeah, the percentage would go modern. crazy. <laughs> wow. It, oh! it, 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 <laughs> no, literally, even in my, my high school, like, you, you know, us growing up, it, it, like, it wasn't like all Asians were popular, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But there was always some, like, Five five, you know, Thai dude who knew how to finger tut that got all the bitches, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they just trapped them in their finger tut <laughs> room and then just back in the bedroom. Yeah. I, I love high school dumb thinking, like, if I could just film it, it would just solve all of my problems. <laughs> I don't need to read this book. <laughs> That's why I started rapping because everyone, you know, I, I do interviews for AAPI month and they're like, you know, why'd you start getting into hip hop and rap? And they want to answer like, you know, to tell the stories of my people. But no, it was yeah. to get girls. Oh, like yeah. straight up. Yeah. Yeah. That's what mo- but that's the motivation for like everybody in every craft. I think that's the next best thing to like dancing is like words. Verb. Yeah, words or or s- song. I think that's what do you yeah, it I feels think like dancing but you don't have to dance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dancing is hard to keep up, you yeah. know, yeah. like at a certain age it's like you can't true mm. dance is hard anymore. That's you know? true. I mean, I got to find that Filipino guy to interview him or something cuz he was really his name was Andrew or something. Oh, Andrew! <laughs> it's, it was last Andrew. Name. It was me. It was me. <laughs> it was me. It was you. I think I fucked your girl. <laughs> no, I, I would say Philip. Uh, I owe a lot to Filipinos because a Filipino friend is the one who introduced me to like so many parts of hip hop culture. Took uh-huh. me to the open mic that changed my life yeah. for rap shit. So the one filipino dude they're like the bridge between like asian people and black communities 100 like, I, I don't know why the, you you have to yeah. be in that position but like they know. kind of no, they are the bridge 100 yeah, yeah. i i always think i mean it's it's that's what filipinos deserve more you know if, you know the first asian people that immigrated to america are filipinos really oh, I know that. the first type of asian Whoa. Wow. Mm. learned this in a pbs documentary in the 1800s it might have been early 1900s. Wow. Why did there they, or late 1800s. Why were they yeah. immigrating? They were actually enslaved. Oh. Whoa. There were, there were a group of Filipinos that were enslaved and shown in like a like some sort of like traveling circus act or something like that. Oh, and, shit. And made them out to be like savages and shit. It was like, I'm pretty sure that's what Right, because yeah. Mer- 1587? That's wow. amazing. Damn. Oh, wait. It, that's amazing. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. That makes sense. There because- was a, I did see that in like a PBS documentary or something. No, this makes sense because I know there are Filipinos in the Civil War. So this makes sense that they were- The they first were Asian settlement was, was Filipino, right? Yep. Filipino Saint sailors. Mono. Wow. Indentured and servants. servants, yeah. So they were like oh, servants. Yeah. Wow. It's not like they came over and they were like, "Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> where's the dance floor?" <laughs> Dancing in were invited by the white doing house. karaoke. No. But that, but I'm yeah. saying like they are literally the first Asians in America, and we're not throwing them on top of. They should be. That's F8. before Mayflower. It should be. <laughs> That's, wait, so they just came over and chilled with Native Americans? What the hell? Oh, yeah. It should be Fappy Heritage Month, yeah. you know? Fappy. <laughs> Fappy. Fappy. <laughs> Filipinos should be first. It Th- should. 100%. Whoa. We really have to give they- them their flowers, man. Whoa, let's Thank not. You. Thank whoa. You. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, yeah. I don't mind giving Filipinos the I don't think love in mind. America, you know? I, I will also say, I think Filipinos, <laughs> considering like all the shit they went through, like I think they might be like the happiest Asian Americans. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know, the happiest, happiest. I, yeah, I, I, I like. I why? Very joyful why? People. Yeah. why? Because they never bring up the war. <laughs> oh, oh you my know? god! I'm always bringing. You're up the always war. bringing up. Chinese people I bring it up every. Up I'm thinking about it right this now because I'm here. <laughs> 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 Filipinos so chill. <laughs> they never bring up the yeah, war. Yeah, yeah. My grandparents very. Yeah, they taught me. They told me things about what, <laughs> about, about <laughs> what about race. The war. Yeah, what, uh, what about race the war? made you biased to other? Asians or the group of ethnic people. Um, okay, let me think. I mean, I know you know the J- Koreans and Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, I was growing I up, Japanese, there was a few comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That my makes grandparents sense. for That's Japanese, fair. and then my mom, very late, Korean, very later. Hmm. Later on. Yeah, later on, have... I was like twenty four. It's like last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, yeah. she's like, I'm yeah. sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm trying to eat Korean barbecue yeah. and they got music blasting, hip hop blasting. They're going up too much. We gotta- yeah, yeah. There was nothing. 
about anyone other uh-huh. than Japanese, and then Korean slipped a little bit. <laughs> with wow. my I, I, get, I get it. You yeah. Know? Well, wait, I gotta ask you this. Yeah. What race does Filipinos not vibe with? Or have you heard? To to be honest, growing up, n- nothing. There's not one no. because they got fucked by everybody. So yeah. I think it's like equal. Oh, everyone. Spanish. No, I'm Americans. not. I'm not even like trying to like. I'm not like lying. No, like my parents n- never said anything about any mm. other. Asian. Never hated one race. No, See, that's crazy. They don't have no. hate in their hearts like we do. Nah, they just I love have that. Dense. But also, <laughs> yeah. you got. I don't know how it is about other Filipinos like in other like parts of the the states but like bay area it's it's different, o- yeah. it's different it was always for me growing up it was always your bay area first and then everything else second mm, so it's because like i was friends with like everything like everything you could think of like yeah. I, that's who i chilled with and then so there wasn't ever like i used to have dreads bro i i i get it i feel like i understand now because of how particular the bay area culture is mm-hmm. that filipinos would be like no that's not us yeah. <laughs> you know like yeah, filipinos yeah, yeah. and the philippines would look at the bay area like this is something mm-hmm. completely different mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. what i mean because the bay area in general is just like a weird place it's a complete melting it's just pot. weird yeah like because especially because it's it's like it, it's always been known to be like a hippie type place mm. since like the 50s and 60s True. and that like kind of went into the music as Hippies, well these black yeah. panthers you know so many so much history there the chinese and the tongs like it's just like so much history there and it mm. truly was a melting pot mm. i think yeah. mm. that's my history portion <laughs> 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 of this <laughs> yeah I, i'm just trying to get this episode popping so we get that aapi bag up next <laughs> budget up next year you know i was doing panda express commercials two years ago all Dude, i really can't believe none of us like booked anything no, that's, yeah, that's yeah, I, didn't, I, didn't I, I was hoping one of us got something not even no. any shows like i didn't i didn't even see no, any yeah. aapi shows i did so much things <laughs> oh we didn't free. want a aapi show Right for, for Netflix, but I'm not no even Netflix. Sure. I don't Netflix. think that was API. I think that was just like a they, show yeah. showcasing Asians. Just happened to be. They're there. trying. You know what they're trying to do right now? I think they're trying to. They're the model minority thing is coming back, but they're trying to reach the Asians that are on like TikTok and wholesome and are like couples and like yes, yes. So it's like the model min- minority of TikTok. Mm. Yes, I think so. Before TikTok, they were like, "Oh, who's in entertainment? Comedians, singers, mm. easy, easy." But now it's like they can pick their own, so they can find somebody who like doesn't curse and talk about ass or whatever. But so. I don't even <laughs> see it. Like I don't even see like yeah, API content. <laughs> Or is it just mm, not sure pushed out. to me? It's not pushed to us, uh, I don't think. I, yeah. I know we have this month, like collectively. <laughs> do each of you have your own month as well? No, oh, no. Because no. Filipinos do in October. Wow. I've never heard of that. That's cool. Yeah, Filipino American History Month. Is Are you sure? In, in October. <laughs> <laughs> Can Are we look that sure? up? I've literally have never I been, heard of have, that. Have, have, have I been wrongly what'd celebrating you, every wh- October? Why did you, what did you guys do in October? Um, no, it's I, uh, nothing. We don't not, do, nothing. Nothing. It's just like a month that we have. October eighteenth, oh. or what is no, that's not no. What is that? Yeah, Filipino yeah. Uh, fam. Wait, fifteen eighty seven. Fam sounds hella Filipino. Too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's up, <that>, fam? <laughs> <laughs> wow, annual. You yeah. see, this is this is the month we're talking about because it is re- recognizing that they were the first. You know, oh, it's recognizing it. that you were the first. Yeah, I that's a, people need to know this. Yeah, uh, you should do. talk about it more. I'll try to. Yeah. yeah, the OG. Yeah, I mean, Chi- Chinese got Lunar New Year. You guys oh, got yeah. your own separate little. I feel like the vibe in America is like it. Like, there's no fact, but there's no proof, but it feels like Chinese people were like we're doing things first. Like historically, that's what it seems yeah, like it in America, like yeah. but it's not. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. were fucking white girls first, and then Chinese yeah. people made the railroads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Japanese people also contributed. What do we do? Oh, yeah. Railroads. Oh, they were like, oh, out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know about people. fortune cookies? I just learned this a couple years ago. Fortune cookie, American invention. No, fortune cookie was Japanese. Oh, and then, really? And Japanese people got sent to internment camps, and then Chinese people took over the business wow. because there was like a white space in the market, which I love. <laughs> the most Chinese thing I've ever heard, but also I, I respect no that. I respect that so hard. Wow. That's why I got to respect the Japanese American community. Because yes. y'all went through the internment camps. Uh, that's, like, yeah, we might that's have some crazy. history. Yeah, that's yeah. why no. I stand by my Asian Americans. Yes, it's yeah. no, they're in, all a different thing. In I Canada feel. too, uh, so many Japanese people were moved out of their homes and moved into the mountains. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that happened in Canada, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why don't know Korean American here. Day, January thirteenth? I don't know. Look, I, everyone goes through their struggles, but I yeah. will say historically, like if you think about. Koreans in Korea, Japanese in Japan, Filipinos in Philippines, Chinese in China. 
the new generation aren't experiencing any new crazy shit over there. Mm. You know, like our parents came over here, like had to start a whole new thing. Right, yeah. right, right. I'm right. not saying one's better, I'm, but that's a lot more struggle right. than I would say a new generation over there. Well, yeah. okay, don't speak contra- too soon because who knows what's going to happen yeah. to Hong Kong and Taiwan? Who that's knows? Right. <laughs> who knows? Oh, that's going to be right now. Yeah. Oh, it's right pretty now. chill. Yeah. 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 Right? Right? You know? It is yeah. pretty chill. Yeah. Korean yeah. kids like live in there now. They probably grew up thinking like, oh, what are the fucking shit? What's the worst shit that they went through? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. right. I don't know. Losing the World Cup. I don't know. Yeah. There's, there's going to be a, there's going to be a, <laughs> 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 They almost had them. That's they, really they almost traumatic. had them last time. I don't know. They lost though. Yeah. Yeah, the new no. kid stories are gonna be like, yeah, my my parents they got no views on their reels. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that's gonna be sad. <laughs> I don't I, I don't want my kids telling me that. <laughs> yeah, my dad never yeah. got he never broke a hundred k. That's sad, you man. The pot that every week, sad. bro. Every week to <laughs> nobody. He dropped the clip every Fine. day. And no views. <laughs> nobody gave a fuck. He was never able to monetize. <laughs> <laughs> that's so sad hell yeah. yeah that's real though man that's real well aapi month um happy <laughs> yeah, happy month. Month. yeah this yeah, is man. great uh, this is yeah. this is good enough for me this is, I, good. This is good a little asian student association here yeah. i like this we got to have this council more yeah. often what's not represented here i mean a lot, <laughs> a lot. Yeah, we gotta get like cambodians i don't know what they're up to Lao vietnamese people. will you know thai yeah Malaysian. thai is just tim like who else do we oh yeah you know what i mean we need more thai <laughs> yeah, personalities we need more though thai people mm. crack me up yeah. Also, yeah, like, I, I think it's so weird when Southeast Asians people don't get there because I do think they're like funnier than East Asians, like just generally speaking. Like, That's true. Their sense of humor, I think, <laughs> just generally speaking, is like comedy is a more part of, part of their life. I think F- Filipinos are like that. If you go Same to the thing. Philippines yeah. and it's like everyone's cracking a joke. Like all the, the funny time. uncle thing is like a thing. Oh, it's mm-hmm. huge. Oh, yeah. yeah, right. But like, mm-hmm. it's not really a thing in Japanese culture. Like, yeah, a funny uncle. Is I'd be there a, a Fili- funny f- family member in? Japan. Like of course there are funny family members, but like <laughs> no, not, no, like like trope wise. <laughs> Do we experience joy? No, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I read a lot of Japanese novels yeah. and it's it's very joyless. <laughs> <laughs> what are you reading? Oh wait, you mean like uh, Haruki like Murakami? Murakami? Yeah, 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 yeah. It scares me. But yeah, I but love he's it. not like a comedy writer. That's true. I should read a comedy well, book. He like an- like mangas and stuff, you know? Anime. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Anime is great. But to your point, a you lot of mangas love? are not. They're about like fictitious worlds. They're not about like the funny Japanese uncle. It's about like a superhero. You know what like I love that. is um, that's real. It's the real world. <laughs> it's uh, old enough. Oh yeah, that's Japanese. That's Jap- but that's like accidental comedy, I guess. The, oh, oh, you mean those kids who walk around? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, so yeah. Cute. yeah, yeah. I yeah, love yeah, those yeah, yeah. little. But kids. that concept would work in any country, I think. Really? No, except America. You I can't, feel like you, you can't, can't let kids loose yeah. in LA. Or, or, <laughs> or, no, Are you or crazy? Like safety thing. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like Japan is, is the only place you could do that. I I always feel like that shows like a weird flex on other countries. Being like, look at look how safe we are, dog. Yeah, I think like letting out here our kids. So I've never seen this. What is it? They just they make kids run errands oh, like okay. three year olds, but go buy apples. And they have yeah. like a candid camera just following them, and it's super cute. They're asking oh, okay. for directions yeah, yeah. and but all like, that stuff. But like, it makes Japan look like I mean, I've never been, so I don't know. But it could be this, but it makes it look like just it's a village where everybody knows each other and uh, help <laughs> helping and it's helping so out it, it everyone. It's safe. I will say that. Like, yeah. it's not uncommon to be on the train commuting to Tokyo and you see like a sixth grader going to private school <laughs> really like it's not what? really well, i mean you get you, you get that in in new york too yeah no, i but guess it's not, not, like, not, not sixth graders you see like high schoolers yeah, okay. but not but if you see that happen it's like oh that shouldn't happen like yeah. in new york <laughs> over here too my parents were just busy like I'd, I'd walk to school at like a young age yeah you but know? you won't really shouldn't be doing that it shouldn't yeah. be it was happening. irresponsible like when i was taking the school bus my school bus driver used to play the howard stern show every morning that's blasting <laughs> in the school bus huh? that's cool oh my god at the peak of howard stern we were talking about all sorts the of fucking sibian <laughs> Yeah, I learned what the a Sibian was. <laughs> in fourth grade, That's I learned okay. what a Sibian was. Oh my God. <laughs> like the LA public school system. I feel was... like learning like what a Sibian is is such a traumatic <laughs> part of growing up. I feel like that's when you cross over to adult is when you yeah. realize what I'm a Sibian is. more crazy for girls because I think as a guy, yeah. you're like, this I don't know what this is, but this is awesome. I think that's what like, I think that's like that boy's reaction. Yeah, that's why I, I saw it on Howard. Yeah, I don't understand what time, it was, but I'm I was like, like nice. this is I like it. 
Yeah. I, I wonder <laughs> what the journey of like, you know, your adolescence and hormones raging is like in all these other countries we're from. You know, like in mm. Korea, like mm -hmm. porn sites are are blocked. I know. I've been trying to watch Korean porn because I like it, but it's like <laughs> what's what's it's Korean porn? Because bro, you just I see like, like some guy's ass like fucking something, and you can't see the girl. The girl's completely covered by the couch. <laughs> it, it makes me angry that it's like it's not actually real because because okay, it's illegal. So right? the reason why they blur out Japanese porn because it's also illegal. Yeah. So they're like, you don't know if they're actually fucking, but they're actually totally they're, so, obviously. So yeah. Korea, I feel like they could just do that, but they take it one step further where it's like. You just kind of see like a silhouette, or like they're like really far away. <laughs> they're yeah. like, like are they fucking? Oh, you can't really tell. Oh. I haven't seen really Korean porn. I feel like a lot of times when I look up Korean porn on a porn site, like the 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 webmaster doesn't know if it's Korean or not, you know, because oh. Japanese is sliding through the cracks. That's yeah. true. You know what That's I true. mean? Like Filipino, I see a Filipino <laughs> dude in there. Yeah, it's even like when we we're working on this movie recently. Like we we're getting, we asked for Korean extras, and we got like two and like sixteen Filipinos and Hilarious. twenty <laughs> Japanese. And I can tell, you know, we all can usually yeah. tell, yeah. you know, yeah. but. That happens in the porn industry too, you know. But when I spot a Korean one, I'm like, oh shit. Do you know why it's illegal? Is it a religious thing? Because y'all are Christian? Uh, no, it's just weird. There's like blurred lines with so many different things all over Asia, right? Like mm -hmm. weed is super illegal in Korea. But like I've been to China and I've like, it's super illegal there, but I've like smoked out on the street and people are way more chill about it. Hmm. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Hmm. I did not I, I just, that Japan's China. probably more strict. Very strict with weed. Very strict. Yeah. In yeah. Bangkok just legalize like th yeah, Thailand. They legalize weed? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That, that shit was the, the wild, chill. wild west over there. In Bangkok? I go to Thailand, yeah. Man. That's yeah. Nice. yeah, they do anything. I think it's because they're like Buddhist, so they're like chill. Yeah. They don't have any weird... There's no strict, like, people telling you what to do. It's just like, oh, just feel good. You yes, know? and I don't know <laughs> if it's true, but I, I believe that's why they've always been very open sexually, like, with the right. gays and trans and people, because yeah. I think, like, there's nothing in, like, Buddhist scripture about, like, you can't be gay or whatever. So, right. Like, there's no weird they thing They just want you to sit by yourself for a while. <laughs> yeah, <they> want, yeah. <laughs> as long as you meditate. Yeah, you, as long you as you, you just think you about... If you meditate long enough, you'll realize you're gay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> everybody, everybody, <laughs> you'll be gender fluid Every if you're Sitting yourself yeah. long enough. Yeah. No, you're right. I think maybe they're more enlightened people over there because they're, 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 they're Bro, if, a lot of more open minded. If your yeah. God has gauges, cool religion. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> cool, cool ass religion. If your God <laughs> has gauges. <laughs> Buddha does have he gauges. Has gauges. Yeah. That's a cool guy. You know he fucked. Yeah. Buddha, I mean, fuck it. <laughs> That's so funny. Buddha's Filipino for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you know, it's weird. I think when I come across Korean like porn stars or Korean porn, and I could tell they're Korean, it's like the first thought in my head is like, "What's your story?" Mm. You know, like how how did this happen? I think for a lot of Asians too. I, I like even Asa Akira. There's like huge porn stars too, yeah. and they have had really incredible stories of how mm. how that happened and their interaction with their parents and stuff like yes, that. You yes. know, so I, I there's really no Korean porn stars like that in america or in korea uh in korea for sure there's like none there's some in america uh, do you know who to name some uh, put me that, on there's that one <laughs> chick i think she's korean she's got the red tattoo on her elise or something i don't know no. i don't know i don't, I don't look at elise anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just uh <laughs> no yeah. i feel like there's been korean american porn stars but yeah i mean i that's that's interesting like whenever i see like a japanese porn star from japan i'm always because it's such a you know conservative society yeah it's like, how do you even get there? And then once you're in there, it's like, what are your options? You know? Yeah. Are you a big? Are are you? Do you know your porn? I've been trying not to watch porn recently, but I have. <laughs> Why? I've been a big. Just, Why? Just want to try it to see. Oh, what well, see what do what you happens. do when you have? I just want to try it. I yeah. want to try it. <laughs> when you right. have the urge to watch porn, like, what's your other go-to? To no, I can still jerk off. I just won't watch porn. And mm. then what happens is it takes me longer to jerk off because I use my head. Mm. And then because it takes me longer, I don't want to do it anymore. So I don't jerk off. Right. It takes too long. Yeah. What's yeah. going on in your head? I think about past memories. <laughs> yeah. That's your go-to. <laughs> I go through my catalog. So, yeah. I'll do that. I'll yeah do that, that makes sense. But no. when you say it out loud, it sounds so like funny. <laughs> I go through past memories. Yeah, past memories. I, I do past memories, and then I like mix two memories together. Oh, Whoa. What? I have a memory threesome. Oh my god! You know? Wow! Yeah, like I fuse That's two memories crazy. together. Wow. I can't believe you. I've never like masturbated to a, th a threesome. That's crazy. Oh really? That's so much RAM. That's so much RAM. <laughs> power, man. Wait, what? A Wait, you've never masturbated to like, a threesome? That's well, what about porn? And maybe in porn, but even that, it's like a lot going on. 
I don't know. I like <laughs> yeah. I like one on one. So I, I've never oh. I've never had a threesome. So it's just hard for me to like picture how it would go on in my head. You know? Yeah, that's fair. But I I've had a threesome <laughs> before, right? Mm-hmm. I've had maybe once in my lifetime, and it wasn't that you know pleasant. Oh, to me, really? like when I when I fantasize about a threesome, it's not the threesome, the type of threesome I remember or have had. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's a my different. ideal. It's a made threesome. up one. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh. Everything's going smoothly. We mm-hmm. all know what to do. You know, man. <laughs> <laughs> we all know what to do. Everyone's playing their part. You know, right. the guy doesn't come too sad. <laughs> it's not weird. <laughs> she have passes imagined... the ball. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> have you imagined one and then you try to make it happen? Huh. No, it's not gonna happen. Like mm, my, what's going on right. here? It's not gonna. You can't. You can't make the live action. <laughs> this and isn't one piece. Only. You know, this isn't. Yeah. Yeah. So right. I, wow. I, yeah, I, I I feel like with memories, things do get really practical too. Like you you pull up just a very standard. You know, nothing's crazy. Man, but I think that's what's so hot to me is that it happened, and and I realized <laughs> yeah. that I, when I, I don't watch porn, I realize it's actually hotter in your memory. It is. So I actually prefer this now. Because you surprise yourself. You're like, damn, I actually... Yeah, that's me. That that's was me. me. Wow. <laughs> how did I... I'd be like, how did I even pull this off? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know? It's crazy. That's funny. No, it is. Like, I, I think it's because, especially when you get older too, you know, like you remember a time where like your game was like out mm, you yeah, killing it. Your game yeah. was good, yeah. And now yeah. you're like, damn. I, I, I do that sometimes <laughs> with just even my talent. Like I'll go back and watch like old videos of mm. me rapping. I'm like... Yeah. I used to rap. I was <laughs> rapping my ass Ew. off back then. It gives me confidence to know that I can maybe do it again. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And I yes. think that's the same thing with girls. You're like, oh, maybe I can pull. And then you come back and be like, oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, how's everyone's like dating lives going right now? Uh, and we are talking about this before we started. Yeah. You, got, you started Good. dating recently. Yeah, no, recently. New, oh, nice. new one. Yeah. How new? A um, couple months? Like two months? Mm. How'd you guys meet? Through comedy. Like, they're a comic or no? No, no. no <laughs> she works yeah. in the biz. She works in the biz. Oh, oh, in the biz. Not mm-hmm. like they weren't at the show or anything. No, 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 no. Oh, cool. Yeah, very nice. Okay. It's 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 new. So it's. Are you keeping it low key? No, 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 no. Yeah. It's just like it's it's just new. I don't. Mm. That's all it is. But no it's like expectations. It, yeah, it, it's also like. I'm on my best behavior, you know? Uh, like, I gotta... <laughs> what does that mean? No, <laughs> that sounded so bad. That sounded really um, bad, dude. Yeah, no, wait, wait, what do you mean? No, it's like, it's not, it's exclusive. It's not like, yeah, oh, it's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. right. He's not cheating. I'm, I'm being, no, 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 <laughs> but I'm cheating. like, I'm also being a gentleman, you know, like yeah. opening doors. Opening stuff doors, like that. yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. When did that, that are you dating or are you guys officially like boyfriend and girlfriend? Officially, yeah. Oh, that's okay. Tight, yeah. When that's does exciting. the doors stop, the holding doors stop? I don't know. I'm still doing it, mm. and I, I I like it. I hold. I feel like no I feel like what. no one does That's it anymore nice. now. So when you do it, people are like, "What? Mm. Nice." You know, you don't just hold doors for people. You're fucking. <laughs> you hold doors for everybody, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. What about car door? Yeah, you do oh, the car door. Wow. I've, I've done the car door. You walk around. Yeah, I, I'm not a it's car a nice door gesture. guy. I, sometimes I feel like uh, they might think I'm corny. That too, and also you don't know where the line. Ends because like some people could find that offensive. Yeah. Really, you think I can't open a fucking door. Well, it's not no. like I can't do it. Obviously, I can do it, but it's like, oh wow, ah, uh, that. Well, yeah. I don't know. Like, like you're trying to do something because for me. sometimes chivalry can be construed as like you're just treating a girl like right. she's retarded or something. You, know, like, <laughs> you don't. You don't know. You don't know. Like I don't right. know. You know, yeah. some people might. Be, it's context, obviously. Some, yeah. but some, you don't know. Yeah, you just I don't, don't want to be extra. Like this isn't fucking Bridgerton. You know, I'm not right. gonna yeah, like. Yeah. But you know oh, what? You know what? <laughs> People love Bridgerton. They do. That's Number true. one That's true. TV show. That's true. That's true. For a while, I yeah. love Bridgerton. Put on your mask. Like every yeah. girl loves Bridgerton. So you're right. Maybe we should be. Yeah. That's true. Every girl Getting does horses. love Bridgerton. They want to be want treated like. they. I think they fantasize about that time. Like that time, obviously horrible for women. We don't have choice yeah. Yeah. Over, mm-hmm. over anything. Yeah. But there's something romantic about it. Yeah, you know, just right. the good parts. Yeah. Just the good parts. Just the only the good parts yeah. where yeah. they yeah. want to commit so fast. Yeah. Like, oh, if they touch you, they have to marry you. That's so funny. Yeah. You know? That's so funny. <laughs> we're not, it's so funny. Like, I feel, I realize that's what women are watching when they're watching Bridgerton is like mm-hmm. the f- speed of commitment and the stuff spe- like that. That's not what I'm watching at yeah, all. Yeah, you're looking for a wife. Yeah, you know? but I, I, I haven't watched Bridgerton, but I heard it's a lot of like edging. 
you know. It's a lot of edging, and women love edging. You know, just yeah, pushing yeah, it yeah. to the <laughs> limit, like just yeah. the tip. And wow, it's just like very. I've talked to a lot of women about this. Just the I like everything leading up to sex is way better than the uh, actual thing. Yes, I, yes. I agree mm. with that. For women. Yes. yes no, yes. I mean, I, for me too, when I'm in mm. a relationship, like holding out on each end, like, yeah, it's not pleasant when you want to fuck, you know, yeah. but it helps the relationship last longer. Yeah. There's more right. intrigue and it, there's longevity in it if you yeah. if you hold out. Dude, hundred. the other day, I like, I saw a friend, uh, she got like a text from a guy and she opened it and she like had such an authentic, genuine smile to this text. Mm. And I was like, I can't remember the last time that I did that. You know, like when you're like texting somebody, it's like exciting because it's new, mm. yeah. you know? And then it's like, just a, a text can be exciting. Yeah. Even if it's not even something flirty, you know, it could just be whatever. Yeah, and that's like, nice. That's a nice I, thing. There's, most people cannot hide their happy text face. Like mm -hmm. when you yeah. receive a good text from a girl, yeah, mm -hmm. you know everyone's look, everyone around is looking at you like, what's I know yeah, what yeah, they yeah. send you, like, <laughs> you know, like you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not have a poker face yeah, when you send yeah, like a, yeah, a crush yeah. sends you a nice text. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you couldn't hide that if you were in a relationship. Like that's you're cheating. I see. You. <laughs> <laughs> who, who sent you that? That's funny. No, nah, there's no way. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's tough. It's tough. Well, congrats on your relationship. Thank you. Congrats. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Congrats. Where where you at with chores? I'm still with my girlfriend. Ten years. We're still open. You know, ten years. Yeah, not ten years open, but we've been together for ten years. How, when when was it opened? Mm, like <laughs> when three, was it open? Three years ago, maybe. Three. three? Years, yeah, twenty twenty one. Ah, yeah. Hmm. Peak COVID. Nice. Wow, so I like, met you when it. it opened. Let's die. I yeah. met you when it opened. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Open doors to an open relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nice. Yeah. So it's been cool. I don't do it that often, but sometimes mm -hmm. when it happens, it's very nice. That's cool. Yeah, and it's okay to like you guys. Talk about it or yeah, I don't want to like get too graphic. Yeah, yeah, you don't you know, get graphic, but like, <laughs> <laughs> please don't. So fucking like this. No, uh, but it has been. It's like it's just been like a really interesting social thing for me because like you sort of like, I think it's interesting to like know, like the way because I'm open, I'm very honest with my intentions up front, whether it's the DMs or I meet right. somebody after a show, mm. and so That's everything good. is expedited because I don't have, I don't I don't want to waste your time. So. Right. I my thing is like if we're floating in person, I'll do it for like fifteen minutes, and then I'll be like, hey, I don't know what the vibe is, but like, so this is my situation. So yeah. I'm sorry for not into that, but if you are like, I'm down to like, I love to buy another drink or something. Mm. And if I say that and they agree, they want to fuck. It's right. that easy mm. because I told wow. them that's all I can do. So mm. if they stay, they want to fuck. So it's like opposite Bridgerton. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> it is opposite. Yeah. They should have another show called Opposite, opposite Bridger. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's just for the dudes. <laughs> just yeah. for the dudes. <laughs> Bridgerton. Oh, he's fucking again. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bridgerton uh, for men. <laughs> but it's like, but it weeds out. A lot of times they're down, but like, it's just, but it's, I think it's, you know, it made me sad a little bit because I think like a lot of guys do lie to women. It's, if they're in an open thing or if they're cheating, they do lie. It's so. true. Oh. Nothing is hotter to a woman than honesty, honestly. It's not even hot. I just think they're like, oh, at least I'm not going to die. I guess, you know, I think it's like <laughs> right. they're happy that I'm being honest. Yeah. Well, what honesty, what, what happens when we're honest is like, there's this like element where we seem like we don't care what happens mm. or what the outcome is going to yeah. be. We're just like, this is what it is. Yeah. You know, like yeah. if someone's like saying, oh yeah, you know, I got kids, you know, a lot of, a lot of my friends too, they'll just be like, yeah, I'm married. You know, and they want to fuck them because yeah. they're so honest about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah. they'll be flirty and shit. And wow. Yeah. They, they, you know, I don't. I'm not saying that's right. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but but they they lay it out there. Yes. So it's like if right. something happens, you knew. Yes, hundred percent. You know what I mean? Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think it's dangerous out there for women because I yeah. think it's like one of those things where like, okay, if a guy's lying about being in a relationship, is he lying about an STD? Is he lying about? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. There's so many things, and that's yeah. scary. It's yeah. no longer just about the sex. Like so. But yeah, so that's been like an interesting, exp it's just weird because I think in, when I was in like high school and stuff, it's like, everybody's all like, you gotta like, this is how you get a girl. Like, it's about tricks and moves. And, right. like, <laughs> but now like as an adult, you're like, you literally just tell them what you want. And then yeah. they say yes or no. That's, and then you kind of move on. That's a really good point. You know, uh, nowadays, it's like, they don't even use the word game. Like there is no game. There's no game. To this. There's yes. no mysterious like mm -hmm. maneuvers or strategy. Yeah. It's it's the you got to just be the most straightforward. Hundred percent. That's the game. That's the game. How do you feel, Gen Z person? Uh, with and that's true. You're the only, just said. <laughs> the only Gen Z, <laughs> right? Like with game. 
Well, would you sorry, like, Riz? My yeah, bad. Sorry, Riz, Riz, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like about? if you thought like some guy was if you're talking like a cute guy at the bar, you're mm-hmm. talking like, and he's like, oh, hey, I'm actually like an open thing, blah 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 blah. And he's like, I can only kind of, I don't, I can't really date girls, but I can only hook up. Like, where would you? Yeah, it depends on my intentions as well. Right. Yeah. right if right, that's right. all I'm looking for at that time, yeah. Then yeah, that's like perfect. Yes. And you don't catch that of like, oh, is he gonna be too into me? You know, like it's like mm-hmm. very clear. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. But if it's not, I'm like, oh, I want to be proposed to. Yeah. Then I'm like, no. You right, know? Right, right, yeah, right. it would be. Yeah. It really depends. But I guess it's nice for you because then it's like you didn't waste your time with Yes. Them. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 a yeah. lot of people waste time. Yeah. All the yeah. time. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, that's what a lot of the courting process is. It's the a lot of. courting process. <laughs> <laughs> I'm courting speaking in Bridgerton terms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a lot of time wasted, yeah. a lot of dates, yeah. a lot of conversation as about things you don't really care about. Like, do you have any siblings? Like, do yeah. you really care? Yeah. Yeah. No. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There's the answer. If you right could there. only ask one question on a date, right? Well, a, and and then you had to decide you're gonna go on a second date or not. What would you ask? That's a great question. Ooh. Everybody. That might be the question I Because <laughs> <answer. laughs> I'm not really in the dating scene. Like, I don't really date like that, but that, like, that is a really good question. Hmm. And this would be the question that would help you maybe in this date, right? Like, okay, I mean, your intentions can be whatever. Yeah. Maybe, okay, so I guess you could tell me what your intentions are. Like, if you're actually just trying to fuck, then that could be your intention. But if you're also just trying to find a partner, that could also work too. Like, hmm. what would be, because to your point, it's like we ask so many stupid ass questions. But if you was like, nope, just one question, that's all you get. I'll be like, what do you want out of this date tonight? Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. okay yeah mm-hmm. that's good i'm gonna get like a clear answer from that yeah right whether they're like looking to further know me and be in a relationship <laughs> or if they're trying to fuck right yeah. right that's fair that's I good think. that's concise yeah i don't know it's really tough one question do you like bridgerton <laughs> <laughs> i will say i think you will get a lot uh, revealed a, with that answer bridgerton yeah, yeah. Era right now i don't know yeah. what's going on do you like, are you watching bridgerton or are you watching tires <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one that's really that's, that's funny good. That's good. and that's you know what's the funny. right answer you fuck the guy watching tires no no the right <laughs> answer is i've seen both oh you wow. got oh, okay because okay. i've, I've seen both yeah i like both yeah, so nice. that's like, that's what you want. A dream girl is someone who watches both. Well, we're, 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 but that's a good question because maybe you only want somebody who watches tires. So that's that's a good way to weed out whatever. I know? don't want someone who only watches tires. Yeah, I don't. I, think you I, want I love anybody Shane who, Gillis. I don't but, think you want anybody who only watches Bridgerton either. Yes, you know. What I, mean? mm-hmm. I like both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The wrong answer so, is I don't have Netflix. Oh <laughs> my god! I'm leaving. I'm leaving. How do you not have Netflix? Not tuned into the world. Is this, is this a white dude? Like I only have Crunchyroll. <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> such a red flag <laughs> oh shit how about you you got, you got one I don't really know I feel like <laughs> yeah like what do you ask on a date yeah I don't know I don't it's, the the type of guy I am I'm not like I'm not <laughs> I hate to say it but I'm not like that exciting up top <laughs> do you know what I mean yeah <laughs> I, <laughs> you're a slow burn i'm a slow very slow oh, burn yeah. i'm like th- what happens to me a lot is um a girl will want to date one of my friends and they'll hang around a little bit <laughs> and then they'll be like wait a second he's way cooler than that guy <laughs> <laughs> and then yes. i end and that's it that's what happened Do you date your friends ex-girlfriends no 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 it's just <laughs> that's like what you just said no no a, <laughs> oh shit a, 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 like a a girl will come around or like someone whatever to get introduced to the group and just the, everybody's just friends at this point yeah okay. yeah and they're just getting to know like everyone and then they'll be like, oh, I think uh, my friend is like, oh, I'm bringing around this person we like just met. And then yeah. they, they, they hang around the group for a little bit. And then they're always just like, oh, no, Andrew. Andrew's the one. That's the, yeah. Wow. And your friends, your boys are cool with that? Well, because there weren't anything in the big, to right. begin they with. They were aware. just around. This right. is a very around. strong strategy because I do feel most people, they self-sabotage themselves and their own personalities by yeah. by mm-hmm. talking way too much like if you have like a good looking dude who's like a nine or ten or a model dude right yeah they're already like pussy is handed to them mm-hmm. 
from there, they could only go down. Mm-hmm. And as mm-hmm. soon as they start opening their mouth and saying some dumb shit, is like it just starts going down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and just gets pushed over to you. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Right. That's that makes sense. And you're just That's waiting it. there, just like mm-hmm. they'll learn <laughs> soon. <laughs> <laughs> just finger tutting in the corner. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they will fall into my invisible room that I've built for them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. No, I like that strategy. I, I've played that strategy too. Yeah. I usually do that with like a homie who like because i'm actually kind of shy when i go out but i have like a really outgoing homie and he'll go in there and do all his extra Mm -hmm. you know bits and everything and then i'll go in there like oh it's my chance now i walk in there and i'm like excuse my friend he's wild right exactly exactly yeah Yeah. you gotta get in there excuse my friend is yeah that's strong he's crazy my friend that goes crazy yeah yeah Yeah. i used to do i kind of did like a similar thing at at clubs but not like with my friends like when i was like younger at like club clubs like where everybody would try to grind on each other yeah so i'd see if i saw like a group of like creepy dudes i'd hang around the creepy dudes because then they would try to like grab girls you know maybe they would try to like force themselves onto these women and then be like hey i'll just go to the girl and be like yo if you need if you need anything like i got you (laughs) It, no, not not if you need anything. I'd be like, hey, if this guy is like creepy, yeah. I'll just like pre- pretend to be your boyfriend or something. Are you like a John Wick character? Like, she said no. <laughs> 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 he looks over to the guys. Yeah. She said no, fam. Dude, that's 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 like an amazing like basketball strap. You're always open. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. They're doing all this crazy shit over there. That's, that's so I love funny. That. That's, I love that. I like that. Well, damn. Uh, I think we could wrap it up. We covered a lot here. Um, strong AAPI month. Um, strong, strong. Pod episode. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that was the episode, but brought a lot of cultures together today. Yes, yeah. man. Thanks for having us. The Japanese, yeah. the Filipino, the Chinese, and Korean are finally united. We have solved racism between <laughs> our four cultures. And we will continue. We'll, we'll continue this. I like this group. It's a good group. It's a good group. <laughs> good group. We, yeah. we covered a lot, man. Um, <laughs> Fumi Abe, Andrew Orofo, Andrea Jin. Do you guys have anything coming up? Uh, nothing coming up, but just please follow me on Instagram and watch my stand-up clips and support my career. Mm-hmm. <laughs> When's this come out? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh. Okay, I guess I'll be in Houston, Texas this weekend at the Riot, Friday, Saturday. And just follow me at, at Andrew underscore Rolfo and everything. Anybody in Houston, go check out the show. I promise please. you, you won't regret it this weekend. Yeah, and I have Ju- last weekend of June in Chicago. Yeah. Last weekend of June in Chicago, Andrea Jin killing Andrea it. Jin. Clips queen. <laughs> um, <laughs> the queen of clips. Oh, God. Uh, I don't think yeah. she like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, Thank she's, you. She's a, clip, she's a clip and fool. I'll tell you that. Um, but I, I, all these three are constantly torn all over the country, even overseas at times. Make sure you catch a show. Um, I got a show this Friday, uh, Cry Later. Uh, two of the three are playing there. Andrew has played monthly as well. Um, it's a cry later. That's my comedy monthly that I'm bringing back starting this Friday. Uh, so stay tuned for the next one. This one's already full. We're expecting like 500 people. Whoa. Wow. Is it going to be at the El Rey, El, El Rey Theater? No, it's at Soho Warehouse. Oh, yes. But we got like over 500 artists. Oh, that's amazing. Because that's that's right. yeah, of the yeah. break. They, the they wanted... Maybe the break, wanted, yeah. Yep. We could only accommodate 300, so there's going to be some pissed people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. We'll be good, we'll be good. We'll see. Uh, yeah. But uh, tune in next week for another episode of Fun With Dumb, y'all. Peace. Peace.